Psychology 1, Group Project, Effects of Drugs on Nerve Cells, featuring Sarmila Data, Michael Padilla, Juan Benitez, Johnny Serrano, and Keith Ralph. Hi, today we're going to be speaking about the effects of drugs on nerve cells. First, we will go over the basic structure of the nerve cell, followed by examples of drugs which can affect those nerve cells. On the board behind me is a diagram of the basic structure of a nerve cell. There are billions of these nerve cells in the brain and radiating throughout the human body. The cell body is surrounded by dendrites, the receiving end of the nerve cell. They receive their signal from the adjacent nerve cell via neurotransmitters. Once sufficient neurotransmitters have been received by the dendrites, an all or nothing response makes this nerve cell transmit its signal down its axon, which is protected by a myelin sheath via an electrical signal, to its own terminal end. Once at the terminal end, this nerve cell then releases neurotransmitters into the synapse. At this point, when there are sufficient neurotransmitters in the synapse, a process called reuptake occurs when there are, are excess neurotransmitters in the synapse. These messages come through the senses, sight, smell, taste, touch, and hearing, or hormone release. And it, the chain reaction is to the next neuron gland or muscle cell. These chemicals are substances that alter perceptions and moods. They stimulate, inhibit, or mimic the release of the brain's own chemical messengers. And these drugs can create psychological and physical, physiological dependence and a drive to relieve negative emotions and pain. This is known as addiction. Methamphetamine, our first drug, is in the class of stimulant. Like nicotine and caffeine, stimulants excite neural activity and give the sense of having been speeded up or more alert. Methamphetamine would include an increased energy and euphoria. Symptoms include increased heart rate, dilated pupils, suppressed appetite due to increased blood sugar, and dehydration. Psychological side effects are increased self-confidence and lowered inhibitions. Since methamphetamine stimulates the release of both dopamine and norepinephrine simultaneously into the synapse, that's the greatest effect it has initially. Methamphetamine also mimics the size and shape of dopamine. And since it does that, it will block the reuptake at the terminal end. Another neurotransmitter affected is serotonin. Tolerance occurs when the body acclimates to the drug. In an effort to intensify the desired effects, users may take higher doses of the drug, take it more frequently, or change their method of intake. In some cases, users forego food and sleep, indulging in a form of binging known as a run. A binge can last for days without sleep, eventually causing REM sleep rebound when the user runs out of drug or collapses due to exhaustion. When stopped, baseline dopamine levels are so reduced that it leaves the former user with permanently depressed functioning. Our next drug is benzodiazepine. Benzodiazepine is a depressant drug. It decreases the excitability of the brain by release of the inhibitory neurotransmitter GABA or GABA aminobutyric acid. So it has the calming effect on the function of the brain. The benzodiazepine used as a hypnotic means the sleep inducer, used as a anxiolytic, reduce the anxiety, and used as a muscle relaxant to reduce the muscle spasm. So the side effect of the benzodiazepine is related with the sedations and the muscle relaxant that included the drowsiness, dizziness, decreased alertness and concentrations, and also decreased the driving skill and there will be more chance of the accident. The prolonged use of the benzodiazepine can develop the tolerance that means there need to be increased the doses for the optimal effect and also can be developed the physical dependency. During that time there will be decreased the GABA and increased the glutamate activity and present by the withdrawal symptom that included the anxiety, distress, panic disorder, weight loss, dry mouth, uh, hypertension and the tachycardia. The overdose of the benzodiazepine can develop the toxicity that included the distigmas, ataxia, slight space, cardiorespiratory arrest, coma, and etc. 
So the reversible agent for the benzodiazepine is the plumazenil. And the next drug will be alcohol. Alcohol is the oldest drug of abuse. It's been around for centuries. It affects all of the neurotransmitter system and especially dopamine, serotonin, glutamine, and GABA. Dopamine receptors in the midbrain causes intoxication. Dopamine stimulates the pleasure center in your brain. They produce sedation, relaxation, sleep, unopposed, they will put you in a coma. Glutamine is an exhortatory system in your brain stem, the thing that wakes you and keeps you from going into a coma. Alcohol increases GABA and suppresses glutamine transmissions so as to relax you and sedate you. Alcohol also affects the structure of the brain. It causes diffuse cell death, especially in the cerebellum, where it causes a loss of coordination. When 50 to 80 percent of the cells in this tiny little tract are damaged, you are an alcoholic. The next drug is, uh, is marijuana. Marijuana. Marijuana is in a type of drugs as hallucinogen. <clears throat> the symptoms and effect of the drug are reducing blood pressure, increasing heart rate, which happens within the first few minutes of smoking marijuana. <clears throat> also, you are four times likely to get a heart attack within the first hour. Other symptoms are frequent respiratory infections, impaired learning, impaired memory, and physical dependence on the drug. The neurotransmitters that are affected by marijuana are dopamine, serotonin, and norepinephrine. Um, dopamine controls many brain functions and some of the movements. Um, formation of emotion response and perspectives of pain and pleasure. pleasure. Dopamine controls the information flow from one part of the brain to the other, can, can affect memory, attention, and problem solving. Serotonin regulates um, hunger, sleep, and motion. Neuropinephrine affects heart rate by narrowing um, blood vines. Tolerance for marijuana affects frequent users differently. <clears throat> they either need a higher or lower dose to make them uh, get that high feeling. I personally did not cons uh, continue to smoke marijuana, so my tolerance level is very low. I felt the symptoms within a very small dose of it. Withdrawal symptoms for all drugs include nausea, feeling exhausted, body aches, irritability, anxiety, anger, and overall distress, including depression and weight change especially after prolonged use. The body, having been used to artificial stimulus and release of the associated neurotransmitters, has decreased levels of naturally occurring neurotransmitters, thus creating an intense craving for the drug even years after it has been stopped. Please, don't do drugs! <laughs>